Kashmir, being a conservative society, faces one of the most serious crimes against women, that is, acid violence. Acid attack is not just a physical assault, but also a mental and emotional torture that completely rips apart a victim's life forever. In December 2014, acid attack on a girl student of Kashmir Law College outside her college sent shockwaves across the valley. In the last two months, this 21-year-old victim has undergone multiple face surgeries, including a 13-hour surgery a few days ago. Akib Jawi, an eyewitness to the incident, shared the ordeal with the Indian herd. <laughs> देखा हमने उसको कुछ टैंक है शहर की तरह तो फिर हमने जब विक्टम की कंसेप्ट खराब हुई तो एक आउटसाइडर था उसको हमने ऑटो में बिठा के इस शहर शहर को साफ कर जाने को कहा तो शहर को हॉस्पिटल तब तक हम हमने कुछ हमने कोशिश की कि हम गाड़ी को पकड़े तो फिर जब हमें गाड़ी हाथ में नहीं लगी तो फिर हॉस्पिटल गए तो फिर शहर को तब तक ट्रीटमेंट the acid attack incident that sparked an outrage from all sections of the society, especially students, voiced their concern over the sale of acid and all such hazardous liquids should be regulated to keep a check on attacks like these. Supreme Court directions of July 2013 clearly say that no seller will be allowed to stock or sell acid without license. Buyers have to show their photo ID to buy the chemical and the seller is obliged to record the details in local police station within three days. In contemporary approach, women are outstanding in every field, but an acid attack completely destroys a victim's life, turning it upside down. The people say that women today wear something, women, you know, they, uh, they are outgoing, they are more outgoing or they uh, wear things that uh, bring this upon them. But I don't think this is kind of a psychology that is right. I feel it's a, a brain disorder or something. Unless and until you are a real psycho, you cannot do this to anyone. I mean, your basic instincts of humanity are against it. So I feel, yes, the way we grow and groom our new generation, that needs to be changed. No doubt, internet and social media has brought the information evolution, but at the same time, it has opened up mischievous ways of harming others. जहाँ तक आजकल नेट बढ़ गया, इंटरनेट की सोलियत दस्तियाब है, मीडिया का इंपैक्ट है, मूवीज देखते हैं, तो उस चीज में इन तीन एजेस पे इस चीज का इंपैक्ट दिन ब दिन बैठता है, तो वो रियल नहीं होती है, कोई मूवी दिखाते हैं वो रियल नहीं होता है, तो लेकिन वो उनके दिमाग में वो चीज रहती है कि इस तरीके से इसने किया, फिर वो किसी रिवेंज कोई बदला लेना चाहता है, तो फिर ऐसे ही बदला लेते हैं। Acid violence reflects gender inequality and discrimination in society. Everyone should play a vibrant role to create awareness in society about the hazards of such types of attacks. Society as a whole can play a greater role to stop such attacks. अगर यूँ लड़के नियरान चुके हैं, शिन नियरान, अगर यूँ बहुत सोचे, ये मस्त चुन कर तो अच्छी ही नहीं गायक ना बहुत था उनके मस्त गायक ही ना बने में चुके कारण क्या चुके हैं, ये में गास में चुके कोच चुके हैं, बस इस तरह से मन बाज क्या चुके हैं, तो पूरा राजस्थान सो लड़के के राजस्थान Speaking about this dreadful crime, SP Hazratpur Rais Ahmedpur said, We have seen that such kind of attacks are very rare, first of all in the valley. And uh, while being there, it has also happened that these kind of attacks there have just been a couple of instances in, uh, reported. Uh, but these have been happening in the last few years. And as such, we may say that uh, this crime is on the rise. Uh, in 90% of the cases of all acid attacks that have taken place, we find that uh, it has been a known 
uh, uh, you know um, an acquaintance of the victim it has been someone who's been either very well very close and if you suspect any kind of um, you know ill intention on their part you must report it to a close one you must report it to the police that way you can nip the evil in the bud the city drags are increasing not only in kashmir but throughout india there is a need of an hour for judicial system to work better culprits should be given such sentence so that these cases won't happen in future